I'm kind of torn on it, right? Like, I do have a lot of concern. I've always had the same concerns of health mm -hmm. was always the big one. You know, then Whitty, three games he's only played. Uh, uh, KD and Kyrie, now play, and now he's out. Yep. And KD and Kyrie, seven games apiece. And so that was always my big concern anyway about them. Uh, I, I remember when we brought the big three together mm -hmm. and, and we started off nine and eight. And it was all kind of stuff in the air, Did right? Did that get and public attention? I bet. Oh, it was a mess. I remember. I oh, yeah. I Wayne Morris remembers. It was. Daily Breathless updates. Oh, my goodness. You would have thought the world was coming to an end. But we won 22 out of 23 after yes, that. Yes, I do And remember this that team too. has that kind of talent. Yes. And, you know, I, I'm just hoping for the best for Kyrie and that he gets back on the court fast because, again, all of us wants to see this team playing together and them exciting the league and, and showing what they can do. Yeah. Yeah, Coach, you're so right. I mean, health is going to define how this team goes, especially because Kyrie and Durant have availability has been, you know, in question. But to me, I still think their biggest thing they've got to wrestle with is defense. And I know that their yes. defensive numbers don't look so bad, but, you know, fundamentally they are a, a, a suspect defensive team. The Oklahoma City Thunder, who are not a juggernaut, even though they have a better record than the Nets right now, had 66 points in the paint in this game. That is not allowable. You just can't do it. And, you know, again, 129 points they give up. I know they've got a great offense, but especially when they don't have full power, when Kyrie is out, you can't go out there and get into a scoring match. And they have yet to prove on a night-in, night-out basis that they can defend at the level to be a championship team. And to me, that's going to be the story the whole season. And look, anybody who's been watching the NBA for 10 minutes knows there is a huge difference between what gives you good or acceptable numbers in the regular season versus what happens during the playoffs and whether you get eaten up and spit out by your opponents. We saw a regular season versus playoffs issue with the Milwaukee Bucks this past season. We see it every year, and that is exactly what Brian is talking about. All right, Carl Anthony Towns returned to the Wolves lineup Saturday. I want to give that some attention. He missed six straight games with a wrist injury. Obviously an incredibly difficult season for him overall. He scored 25 points in his return. Now, he did sit out Sundays back-to-back -back as a precaution, according to the team. <coughs> Brian, what impact do you think Cat's return has on the Wolves season going forward? Because they're not going anywhere without him, but even with him, what do you see? Right. Yeah, I mean, they're already teetering um, with where their record is. And Carl Towns said that when he first saw the doctor with this wrist injury, which is a, a strange, a dislocated bone in his wrist, I can't say I've seen it or even heard about it very often. He, they told him he was looking at six to eight weeks. Ooh. If he was out six weeks, I think the Timberwolves would have been done. And I mean, they are yeah. already, like I said, in a gray zone, you know, at this point. Uh, so he, he's pushing it, coming back at two weeks. Now, he put up good numbers in his first game. He said he doesn't have great feeling in that hand, that he doesn't have, you know, that hand is not really that functional. But if he can put up those numbers, he's given them a chance. And, and coming back now, um, you know, it's a move. We'll see whether or not it pays off for them. But, um, you know, he was supposed to be out a month longer. Mm. Yeah, and I just think, one, they can, he'll galvanize them. I mean, after everything that they've gone through, I think the team will rally around him. I think with him, they're a fringe playoff team, maybe. Like, they really got to play well, but without them, they're no, the there's West. no chance. And it's like I said, it's tough in the West. So even with him, I think it's very difficult for them to get into the dance. But he is just a huge factor for them. I think his whole, you know, purpose right now is to honor his mom, honor his family, play with great joy, find something every day to appreciate in her honor. And, and you know, hopefully his team will rally around him and we can see some exciting basketball come out of Minnesota. Yeah, it's still though incredibly hard. He has talked about the fact that, you know, look, I can't just lose myself in basketball. Some people can do that after a right. huge loss. He said, that's not it. He said, every time I step on the court, all I think about is my mom's not here. Yeah. And, and I just, I have such admiration for him going forward with everything that he and so many Americans have been through this past year, dealing with deaths due to coronavirus. Um, and I think I think it is going to be tough for that team. It's such a shame because the high expectations I know that they had, especially getting Kat and D'Lo together in the first place, mm -hmm. they sort of mapped out what they wanted the next two to three years to look like. And this is certainly not happening right now. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Mavericks. Kristaps Porzingis expected to make his debut today, but that was before Mavericks Pelicans was postponed. He has been recovering from meniscus surgery. Now, Fizz the Mavs currently in the middle of the pack in the West with a 5-4 and four record. Does the return of a healthy unicorn put them in the upper echelon of the conference? Absolutely. It's no question about this. this first off, how good is Luka? 
Let's just put that out there. <laughs> Five and four in the West, no Chris Stapps. Yep. And Dallas has a good basketball team surrounding them. I don't want to just say it as like it's just sure. them. But Chris Stapps Porzingis show when he's on the team and when he's on, out there playing for them, you saw in the Clippers series, how big was that to have him out there? Sure. He was ejected, totally different deal. When yep. he went out with the injury, totally different deal. If he was in that series, they might have had a chance to really win that series, and I'm not stretching on that. So him being that stretch set, that seven-footer, that defensive guy at the rim with Luka Doncic, definitely in the top pack, uh, top of the pack in the West. Yeah, are they a, are they a, a high-level team with, with Porzingis? Yes. Are they a championship contender? I still think they're a piece away, and I think mm -hmm. they know that, which is why they've cleared out cap space and why they you know, had dreams of Giannis um, and, and why they may look in the trade market, whether it's during the season or in the summer. It doesn't have to be another all-star player, but I still think they need another high-level piece. Now, we still don't really know what the ceiling for Luka is, um, and Rick Carlisle has been a little bit disappointed with their, their level of focus early in the season. They can improve that, and they're better with Porzingis. I think they're dangerous, but I don't think they're where they need to be. And, and look, those two guys are young and signed to long-term contracts. They have runway. Let's see what they do. And, and, of course, this is another team where, again, their game was canceled. Sorry, not canceled. The game was postponed tonight. Having COVID issues affect the team can affect your record in a shortened season. Every game is one of 72, not one of 82. Maxi Kleba had been playing lights out for them, and now he is going to be off the board for a while. So that will also affect which echelon they end up in when we look at the final standings at the end of this regular season. All right, coming up, guys, LaMelo Ball became the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double this weekend. Are you not entertained for...